I'm going to show you how to create a contour cut line in Silhouette Studio so you can bring it into Adobe Illustrator and apply the VersaWorks cut contour swatch so you can bring it into VersaWorks and cut a sticker on your Roland wide format printer. So I went to, I have the business edition and I have it open and I went to file, merge, and I brought this tree in. And I have my artboard about the size of the sticker that I want. Although when I apply the cut line, it's gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna have to resize it smaller. Um, I usually do three by three because all my stickers are around three by three. Um, and then when you bring in, this is a PNG, when you bring it in, it's gonna have um, a line applied to it. Um, so I always turn that off. I go to the line and I just click off and you can see it turns the line off. It, I don't know why it does that, but I guess it helps with um, outlining it. So here's the offset button. It's the star with the line around it. With the item selected, I click offset. And this remembers, the distance around it remembers what you had it set to last time. So apparently I had something that was 0.165. So I'm going to change it to 0 0.07. That's usually, oh wait, that didn't work. 0 0.07. And that's usually how I like to have it. Now you see a few things right off the bat. Um, since this is not a smooth line, you get these jags and that's not, that's going to be um, hard to cut. And then you have these inside bits too. So what I do is I go to object and release the compound path and it makes all these separate little pieces. So with all of it selected, I hit the shift key and hold it down and then I select the outer line and it deselects it actually and it leaves these selected and I just hit delete. Now if you want to look at your cut line, you can double click it and you can see all the nodes. And if you want to simplify this, you just click simplify and it removes some of them and it makes for easier cutting. Now you can edit each one of these nodes. So, um, you know, the sticker doesn't have a zillion cuts in it and the lines are smoother. So you can spend time, I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can spend time like um, editing all these. You can delete points. And the good thing about doing it here in this program rather than doing it in Adobe Illustrator is I don't know how to do this in Adobe Illustrator. Like whenever I try to edit the nodes, like if I delete one, it just completely takes that away and it disconnects the line. It doesn't do it here. It's just easier to do it here. So I'm gonna select all of it and group it so I can um, size it. I want it, this, is, this artboard is three inches tall and I want this to fit within it. So my sticker is about three inches. I'm sorry, my I have a also I have an Apple computer. It's a MacBook Pro. So um, I I do have a, a Windows computer, but it's connected to my printers down in my shop. I don't really do anything on it. I don't really know how to use it. So all right, I've got it pretty close here, but you see how it's hanging off. So if I bring it into VersaWorks like this, it's gonna cut off. So um, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm sorry, this is not real responsive. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I can select the art. I click this button here and it centers it on the artboard. That way, you know, it's even. So I go File, Save As, Hard Drive, and I'm going to save this as a tree on my desktop as a PDF. Now I believe you can only 
um, saved to P as a PDF from the business edition. So the Silhouette Studio program is free to download and you can do a lot with it, but, and you don't even need the cutter, um, but you have different upgrades and business edition is the highest one. So it just allows you to utilize all their features. I would just, it's, it's just a one-time fee and then it's yours forever. It's not a subscription or anything. And then you get free updates. I love this program and it was actually created by Graph Tech. So I'm going to go ahead and open Illustrator and I already have this brought in here. So this is what it looks like. I select the actual art and if you actually layered pieces and saved it and brought it in here, you have to make sure you select all the pieces. This is just one piece. So I just select it and I go to object, flatten transparency. And when I use this for the first time, this is automatically checked. Um, but I've had this open all day and I've been using it and I've unchecked it. So um, it remembers that every time you open, um, open this panel. But if you close out of Illustrator and then reopen it, that's going to be checked again. You have to uncheck this. So it's already unchecked. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to select the line and I'll make sure that the line here, this is the fill and this is the line. Make sure the line is selected. And you come over here to your Roll in VersaWorks swatch panel and click this cut contour and turn it this color. And then I go to File save as and um, I'm just going to call it tree and it, save it as a PDF because that's how I opened it and I'm going to save it but I'm going to save it right on top of the other one because the other one I don't need this is the one that has the flattened transparency and the cut line save it as a PDF and um, I don't have VersaWorks on this computer because it's only on a Windows and this is a Mac so I download it on you could put it on a um, thumb drive and bring it over or you, what I do is I save it to this site called my cloud I bought a device from Best Buy and I save it. it's like a storage and I put it in there on the website and then I go down to my shop and open it up and um, download it from there onto that computer and then I bring it into VersaWorks and then this will be your cut line um, if you have vector artwork, you do not need to flatten your transparency, but sometimes there's something in there, like if you used a, a fill or if you used a pattern. So just as a general general rule, I always flatten the transparency. So I hope that this helps. Um, have a great day. Tanya from My Vinyl Cut.